What's up guys, Nick here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded my latest video, but I'm in uni now and anyway. Uh, so I'm back again and I have some great content coming up just for you. Today I'm gonna unbox for you this little mysterious box I have here. So let's see what's inside. So here we go guys. Uh, here is the box, nothing important on the outside, we can hear all the parts inside, so let's crack on. Using my mini Victorinox knife here, as you can see. So, what do we got here? Resistor color code. Very useful, in my opinion. So I will leave all the all the parts that are included here. I'll put them here so you can see it. Uh, we have a double side. I think it's called breadboard, and it also has a sticky back side. So if you want to stick it somewhere, you can. Uh, we have a USB cable for our. Arduinos. Then uh, we're moving on with uh, some jumper cables. Yeah, as you can see, there are uh, three lengths of the uh, jumper cables. Then we have a small uh, servo motor with uh, some plastic parts inside. So we can attach it somewhere, actually. Let me just open it for you. Kill the little attachments. And the servo motor itself, which is, in my opinion, a CB1, but it will do the job if you need to attach it somewhere. So, moving on. Uh, we have a small DC motor. And, of course, I will open it for you has everything else inside the box. So here it is, small little DC motor. Inside the box I also found these little guys, which they are four, four, little, four little screws and two spacers, as you can see, two of these parts. Moving on, a small basic relay. Here it is. You can read the specs if you want. Anyways. So we have uh, an LCD display here. has a protector, protective film installed there and I think that this one is the blue one you can find the, the green one but this is the blue one I kinda, I kinda like this one more than the green one moving on uh, we have some resistors here and also some uh, capacitors I hope you can see them I'm not going to open this packet because it will mess up everything. So, resistor pack number one plus some capacitors there. Uh, we have some uh, LEDs. We have green LEDs, yellow LEDs, red LEDs, blue LEDs. And plus we have, if you look closely, we have uh, two RGB LEDs here, those two guys. Yeah, I'm leaving that so you can see. We have another pack of resistor, resistors. Uh, I think that there are included three different, uh, three or four different uh, values, resistor values. Anyway, moving on. 
this is the last container and has the mo has most of the stuff inside so let me show you what inside what is inside I won't get into more detail for every part here but here we have another uh, display, digit display. Smaller, uh, smaller display again. The pins a little bit bent, so yeah. We have some uh, pins in order to solder them on our wires if we want. Very useful. We have a fan blade for our motor, our DC motor, if you want to use it. We have, uh, I believe it's a 8x8 LED matrix, so we can move, we can make pictures or some kind of pictures here. Also, we have uh, two of these two potentiometers small basic one, I don't know the exact value of their uh, resistance inside uh, you can find the specs in the, kicks, in the kit I think okay. we have uh, another potentiometer here which is uh, you can see it yeah. uh, we have uh, some buttons basic buttons, uh, as long with caps for them. Here there are blue caps and yellow caps, as you can see. Uh, three of them, three of each. So let me move them to... Okay, here we have our buttons and their caps of course. Uh, we also have a small microphone, two pin microphone. We have this guy, which I think it's a humidity sensor, maybe a humidity plus temperature. I don't really remember what it is, but as I told you already, you can find all the all information about this kit in the kit details. So, this guy. I might do a project with this guy in the future, so stay tuned about that. We have uh, two photoresistors or uh, LDR, light dependent resistors. Very handy. If you want a sensor lights. Uh, we have uh, two buzzers, one of them is a uh, passive buzzer and the other one is uh, an active buzzer, I think it's called. Yeah, these two guys. We also have a bunch more, a bunch more capacitors. Let me separate them so you can see it. Yeah, here you can see all the capacitors. We also have some uh, diodes. I think that they are the same value, I don't remember the exact value. Yeah, four of these guys. We also have uh, this kind of LED. It looks like an LED, but I think it's a flame sensor or something to do with flame. I don't really know what it is. Maybe I'll figure this out in a future project. Uh, another diode here. So we have five diodes. 
we have some uh, transistors. Yeah, four, five transistors here. Hopefully you can see them. And we have these two guys. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm moving it next to the microphone. Uh, they are tilt sensors, so you can make something, and if it tilt, if it's tilted, you can activate a relay or something. Maybe useful for uh, an alarm project. And the last part, we have uh, these two guys, which I think they are thermistors. I'm not really sure about that. Yeah, basically these parts. Uh, because I don't know how exactly they are called, I'll uh, just name them so you can see them. So I think that's everything that's included so thank you very very much for watching thank you for tuning in and drop a like if you want if you want to ask me anything just comment it down below in the section comment section uh, I think that's everything that I want to say for today so see you in the next video guys